Hello everyone. Today we are going to enjoy the autumn colours of Edinburgh. How are you all? Hope you're all happy and healthy and safe out there wherever you are. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Less of me, more of Edinburgh. I'm sure I'll I'll pipe up every now and again. But I, 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 we're going to enjoy it. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. For a couple of years. And then every time I go to make it, I've missed it. Because the cult, you know, the, I want to show you the autumn colours of Edinburgh because it is spectacular. The diverse yellows and greens and browns that Edinburgh sort of becomes at this time of year. A lot of people ask, when is a good time to come? When is a nice time to come? And yes, Christmas is amazing. And yes, the festival is incredible, but this time, in between the festival and in between Christmas, when everything's getting crispy, starting to get a little bit cold, um, and the colours start to change. It's a little bit quieter around about, you can enjoy yourself a little bit more, and if you, you can take in this beauty and wonder of the place that is just that it's just for this just time of year. Well, listen to me, listen to this. Where is this coming from? So, today we're gonna to jump about a couple of places and I'm just gonna show you the place. I'm just gonna show you the colors and how it looks. And So right now, we're starting uh, Duddingston Lock.
see what I mean about the colours. And that's just Durrington Village. You come just a little bit along the road, Holyrood Park, even more of the same. That's just two areas that are extremely close to each other. Duddingston, Loch slash village and, um, and then down to Holyrood Park area beside the palace and things. I'm going to go to one other area and already I'm frustrated because I could go, I'm like, oh I could go to the meadows and show the colour in the meadows. I could go down Leith Links and show the colour there. I could go to Greyfriars Kirkyard and the colours and it's just everywhere and I'm constrained. <coughs> unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but by the fact that I need to get home because I've got a three week old baby that I need to go home and help with. But I'm hoping that this will show you just a taste of the colours and the things you can come and dis discover. So we're going to go to Charlotte Square and then a little bit of Prince Street Gardens.
you've enjoyed that today guys something a little bit different a lot less than me a lot more of Edinburgh like I said there's there's so much more I could show you I'm just I'm just constrained by time today um, the meadows is beautiful Leith Links is stunning it's like this as well and I slipped and almost died there did you see that I could have died the Greyfriars Kirkyard would have been incredible but I've just not got the time today to see but hopefully a lot of you ask the time of year to come if you don't mind a little nip in the air if you don't mind a little bit of rain every now and again because if you hang on for five minutes it turns into this how beautiful is that hope you've enjoyed that today guys if you have please remember uh, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, please remember to subscribe as we scrabble our way, hopefully, towards 10,000 subscribers. I hope you're all happy and healthy and safe out there, wherever you are. Until next time, bye humans. <laughs>